What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you guys are enjoying the season three update so far. We got some brand new information in regards to the Godzilla Kong event that's going to be taking place starting tomorrow. We got an early showcase of the rewards, everything to expect from this event, as well as the new operator skins, early showcasing of them. And just so you can get an idea of what these bundles are going to look like before they release. And we do have some release dates, but if you guys find this video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. A quick reminder, I did post a video yesterday. I actually double uploaded one went over the patch notes for this brand new season three update and the other one went over the brand new content the new secret features some leaked camos as well as the leaked artwork operator skins for the tracer packs there's also a new rebirth island easter egg that gives you a free weapon blueprint i covered that on the second channel so if you missed any of that check it out the link will be down in the description tomorrow we will be receiving a brand new update and this will be bringing in the godzilla kong battle for hollow earth event this will be an event that lasts around one week long it's going to be xp based it originally was supposed to start with the launch of season three so yesterday but i guess they decided to delay it instead they actually ended up dropping a store update today and this brought in the shimu tracer pack bundle bundles now available in the store costing 2400 cod points will feature the shimu operator skin for byline which is indeed animated and you can see here from like the uh the little like smoke from the ice and all that coming out on top of that there's also two different weapon blueprints that you get the first one is called the glacial cold for the mcw which has tracer rounds and a death effect and surprisingly they don't mention it as a mastercraft but it does have a mastercraft animation and this is what that little animation looks like this is definitely a bundle that they worked hard on and you can actually tell because this blueprint is one of the best ones that they've added so far into this game the tracer rounds are also really nice and you can see that here from the little tracer and death effect screen and then the second weapon blueprint is going to be a little bit different. This one is called the Frostbite for the Striker 9. It does have the same trace around and death effects. It just has like a little bit of a, a more bluish tint color to it. And it doesn't have that Mastercraft animation. And then you also get a new Flash Freeze equipment skin for the Stun Grenade. And there will be a brand new finishing move for Shimu called the Frostbite Finish. And we've seen that in the past before. And then finally, there's other things like a brand new large decal, a loading screen, and a weapon charm. I usually criticize call of duty for overpricing bundles but this one i think is a good price you get three different weapon blueprints and one of them's even a mastercraft and the operator skin is basically an ultra skin as well so i think this one out of all the godzilla bundles is probably the best deal that you'll get let me go ahead and show you guys the other upcoming bundles this one is going to be the scar king according to reality lease he says the release date is set for april 8th so four days from now this should be arriving in the store also a huge shout out to austin six for the gameplay footage definitely check out his channel i have it linked down in the description he goes over the unreleased finishing moves the brand new camos the new operator skins bundles and so much more so if you want to early look at that good stuff i'll have his link down in the description this is going to also cost you 2400 cod points we'll feature the scar king that actually comes in for soap so remember how we talked about soap would get a skin i guess it was scar king that he was going to be and then he gets two different weapon blueprints the first one is called the scar shredder for the amr9 it comes in only with a tracer impact called the primordial tracers so this one doesn't have a death effect to it and that's what it looks like the second weapon blueprint comes in for the ram 9 called the reign of pain once again no death effect to that and then you get a brand new finishing move called the whip slashed unleashed and the rest of the content include a large decal a brand new loading screen and a weapon charm the last upcoming bundle which will be the godzilla tracer pack according to reality will be releasing on the 14th of april and this will cost you 2400 cod points as well you unlock the new titanus godzilla operator skin for jabber and this is what it looks like it is animated as well and it has the glowing eyes the little uh purple smoke coming out of his back and then you get three different weapon blueprints the first one is called the evolve fury for the hrm9 which comes with tracer impacts called the mega genta tracers and a death effect called the heat ray breath dismemberment and this is what it will look like in the little pre-game lobby and it looks pretty sick so they did good on this one as well and then the second one is going to be called the charged up for the longbow same exact tracer rounds and death effect and then the last weapon blueprint is actually going to be an equipment skin this one looks like it's going to be for the thermo barbaric called the hate ray nade and this will also come in with its own death effects you get the godzilla finishing move called the feel the heat ray and then the rest of the bundle will consist of a large decal a brand new loading screen and a weapon charm and once again this will cost you 2400 cod points now there's an extra bonus to this if you end up getting every single operator skin for this godzilla event which is a total of four of them 
2,400 COD points each, bringing the total to 9,600 COD points that you will need to purchase the entire thing. That will unlock you a brand new weapon blueprint called the Beast Glove, which comes in for the new Gladiator melee weapon. Leakers were able to get early in-game footage of this weapon blueprint, and this is what it will look like in-game, the little inspect animation that it does. But the real question is, do you think it's worth 9,600 COD points? Are you interested in getting this? This is definitely one of those things where like, it's only here for a limited time. If you don't get all four of these bundles, it will be going away because I don't think the Godzilla and Kong bundles will stay for a long time. Anyways, now that we've talked about bundles that will cost you money, let's talk about some free rewards that you'll actually be able to get. So this is an early look. Shout out to Reality Leaks for the footage. He showcases all the rewards that you'll be able to get with tomorrow's event that starts at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This will be XP based. If you equip the Kong or the Godzilla Operator skin, you get an extra 5,000 XP boost. They don't mention Scar King or Shimu, so I guess you don't get an XP boost for those. The very first reward that we have here is called the Journey to Hollow Earth. This is a weapon sticker that you unlock at 10,000 XP, which is the very first reward. Remember, because this is leaked, the XP goals could potentially change by a couple of numbers, so we're not entirely sure. But then the second Second one you get is a double XP token for one hour at 21,000 XP. Following that, you get a new large decal. This one is called the Drowned Viper, available at 33,100 XP. The next reward after that is a double weapon XP token at 45,500 XP. You then get the Titanus Dug Charm, and that's going to be available at 61,000 XP. Then the next one after that is going to be the Titanus uh, Tiamat, I think that's how you say it. This will be a large decal available at 77,000 100 XP. The next one after that is the Monarch Emblem, available at 95,000 XP. You then get the Majestic Hollow Earth Calling Card at 114,000. 500 XP. The next one after that is going to be a double battle pass XP token at 136,000 XP. Then the last reward that you get apparently at 160,000 XP is the heavy metal camel. Unfortunately, it's not animated. We do have a photo of what that camel will look like. It pretty much has like all the logos of these different Titans just on it, but this is what the mastery camel will look like. I think 160k XP might be too little because I've seen them do challenges and events like this where you have to get upwards of like 405. 500k XP. So it might be a little bit more than this. I'm not too entirely sure. Just take this information with a grain of salt. The rewards and the orders that they are in will not be changed. So that will stay exactly the same. This will be the first event of many. We do have another one launching in under six days. So just under a week, probably this upcoming Wednesday. I'm surprised that they're doing this event a little bit earlier. I thought it would be a little bit closer to 420. This is called the Blaze Up event. There's also going to be a second one that comes in for Warzone, which they're giving it a different name called High Trip. This will be a major event with a whole whole lot of challenges for you to do. Warzone's going to get their own. Zombies will get their own. Multiplayer will get their own. There's even going to be brand new game modes. The Cheech and Chong Operator skins. That one Sloth Operator skin. So there's going to be a lot going on. This is going to be like the big event that we get for this season. And even after that one ends, there's also going to be the Vortex Virus mainframe, which will be launching before the Reloaded update for Season 3. So you can expect a lot of events and a lot of rewards that are going to be coming in. And this is just the first of many. Once we get closer to the release of these events, I will have full guides on how to complete complete them early showcasing early gameplay footage rewards that you get from them very similar to what we did here in today's video but what are your thoughts and opinions on this brand new event and the ones coming in are you guys excited for them do you think season three has been a w so far but that's all that i got for you guys in this video if there's anything else you guys want me to cover comment down below and let me know thank you guys for tuning in and watching i really do appreciate the support lately but it's been your boy Trizzo, and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again peace